get to the level where Imam want to take us, inshallah ta'ala. So let me stop here and we can open the floor for questioning. Um, somebody did just ask for the date and place of the Farman. Ji, of this Farman? We are reading the Farman is called Asul Din, and it is September 29th, Dar es Salaam, 1899. Uh, Shogun, go ahead and unmute yourself. Aziz Bhai, Ali now, I don't know if I uh, misheard you or misunderstood you. Uh, at the beginning, I was having a hard time with the Urdu and English and all that. But I got from you, rightly or wrongly, that we have more than one soul in us. It's not just a one soul. And the soul perhaps takes on additional, or we've given an additional soul. So I have to confess, in all the the uh, learned people I've listened to, the missionaries, wiseens, learned, everyone, I have never ever heard of this concept, number one. Number two, we thought, or I thought, that a soul, uh, which is linked perhaps to your intellect, it advances, which is why we, we learn, and it advances and reaches higher and higher level. So when we do Ibadah, uh, we see the essence, we see whatever you want to, terminology you want to use, but it reaches at that level. This is your own soul that one is born with, that progresses, that learns, is like a growth in a body and so on and so forth. And to paraphrase a Farman where Allah gives to whom he chooses, intellect and discoveries are made at a time of Allah's choice. With all that in mind, can you elaborate, explain to me, I'm totally lost with one body having more than one soul that I should be getting different souls at different times, please. Okay. okay. First of all, we have one soul with different stages of that one soul. There are different stages of the soul that you are talking about. Because when we say I, me, my soul, we are talking about that Anna, which we call my I, my identity, my soul. This soul takes different stages during the birth and during the lifetime. And even today, we are waiting and we are starving for one additional soul, because this time I'm calling it additional soul. Okay. So when we are conceived, we are at the first stage of the soul, which is called zarat, particles. Then we take the second stage of the soul, which is called mineral soul. Then we take the third stage of the soul, which is called vegetative soul. Then we take the fourth stage of the soul, which we call animal soul. Up till this point, even though we look like a human, but there is no difference between that child, that baby, and any animal because he does not have a rational soul. So the next progress in our soul is the rational soul which we call a human soul. Because without the rational soul, we are nothing more than an animal. The rational soul is the one, meaning our intellect is the one that define us a human other than the human animal. And you can see that in Imam's address of uh, Al Khan University, Karachi uh, opening. Okay, so now you understand we have one soul 
and that soul has the levels a progression from the particle all the way to the human soul there are different steps progression that's what rumi is talking about in this farman which we just read okay now additional soul our i our identity our soul and i like what you said and that tells me that you have a kind of understanding of your soul and that is our body is living due to our soul if someone ask you what is the soul of your soul urdu mein bolte hain isko ke hamare jism ki ruh hamari ruh hai hamari ruh ki ruh kya hai what is the soul of our soul soul of our soul and the reason our soul is living is due to our intellect if you take the intellect away from our soul even if we are living our soul will be like a dead soul and i'll give you example if you see a person in a coma person in a coma do you know which soul is missing in that person even though he is living remember he still have a soul but his mind has shut down and because his mind has shut down the soul of his soul which is intellect has left and that's why he is in coma but he is still living right he still have a soul now take a dead person when a person dies what leaves his soul because his soul has left so has the soul of his soul his intellect has left and we call that person what a dead person does this answer your question when you talked about the soul progressing uh, at different levels of growth and the last level being of an animal level and i think before human level last level is a human level before human level is animal level no, ji and that's what i meant i'm sorry so i think you said at that point that a baby a baby soul is not different to an animal soul so when we take a baby for bayat and the imam accepts it explain that as well if you will and and we know that the trees and animals also do ibadat in their own way we're told but the fact that there is there is a presentation and an accept, acceptance so on those two points we can further illustrate hopefully i'm not taking up too much time from others that may have questions but i'm i'm confused yes no problem shukad bhai we are perfectly good questions are good question if it was not a good question i will tell you but you are asking good question okay so number 1 when we take the child to the bayya who's taking the bayya does child know what is good for him or her your answer would be no because the child does not even have a rational soul yet to decide if i wanted to be smiley i don't want to be smiley i wanted to be a good child i wanted to be a bad child nothing it is the parents who's taking the bayya in the behalf of that child and if you remember i don't know if it was the saturday class or the sunday class we had talked about then that when you grow up then you supposed to repeat your bayya to the imam now you are taking the bayya for your soul with the rational soul and understanding and i believe we had talked about that in our dua class when we were talking about bayya between the allah and the hand of allah on those who are taking the bayya in the hand of rasul we had talked about that and we have talked about why there are three times in our lifetime at least three time okay it could be more at least three time we take bayya 
One, when our parent takes us, that's unconsciously, unknowingly, without rationalizing what is good or bad. So I'm not going to even worry about that or count that. Thanks to my parents, thanks to your parents, they made us smiley. Then, each time we enter in Jamaat Khana, each time we enter in Jamaat Khana, when we say, Hey Zinda, you are taking a baya by saying, I believe and I understand my Imam is present and living in Jamaat Khana and I am as an Ismaili entering the Jamaat Khana believing in living Imam by saying Hazinda and remember in Baya you need a witness so what happens? someone says Kayam Paya he becomes your witness you are taking a Baya at that point unfortunately we don't know this because we never learned about our Tariqa we never learned about our tariqa and we don't even know. Third time we take bhaiya. Each time Imam come and have a darbar, the leaders take the bhaiya on the behalf of the jamaat. And recently we all remember Golden Jubilee, Diamond Jubilee. We remember other uh, darbar in our lifetime. What do we do? Very first thing, what do we do? We take the bayya. We renew our bayya to the imam. Have you ever questioned why do we renew our bayya to the imam? That is our tradition that each time you see the imam and you say this is my imam, then you take the bayya. That's why when we go to Jamaat Khana and we say imam is living and present in Jamaat Khana and if you believe, then you take the bayya. If you don't believe, don't worry about it. Do we see that? I believe this clears completely your answer of the baya and the child and two different baya that we take in our lifetime. Your question about the uh, coma. Remember, what I'm telling you is not a physical science. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a in any way, in shape of giving you any physical science, knowledge or advice. I'm giving you that with the spiritual science. And what is spiritual science? The science of the soul and the science of the soul of the soul, the intellect. And with that, when a person loses his soul of the soul, then he goes into karma. But when a person dies, the soul of the soul both leaves the body and that's when a person physically dies because he no longer has the soul nor the soul of the soul. G. Okay. <clears throat> uh, Shabana. Yali Madad, Sakitai. Yali Madad. Um, I want to ask you, I have put it in the chat box also, that there is a Farman of uh, Imam Chutan Muhammad Shah, and uh, one of them that to each Barabar boy, so Imam do something in such hate action. If you can explain on this one a little bit. Uh, and then I have another question. You can be that with the uh, leader, that... When I know that I have a soul of Allah, I have a soul of Noor with me, so why, uh, why God wanted, or why God asked, hey, am I not your God? At first, when, when we were in alam before alam -e So I am really confused and I'm not getting this answer from anywhere. I have find as few people. You know, so I want these two questions, but you can ask Anthony one and then you can keep it up. Okay, the next one for the next time. Could you repeat the Farman, the first Farman in English? Because I did not understand the Farman. No, uh, so I don't have the script in English. But uh, okay, Gujarati, I'm going to ask you. Gujarati, I'm going to ask you. Jo ish barabar ho, hai, jo ish barabar ho, hai, jo ish barabar ho, hai, jo ish barabar 
Okay. So you're saying if the love of the Imam is correct, then your Iman, your faith will become one with your soul. That's what you're saying? That's yes, but that, that is the words, right? Because I don't have a Furman in front of me. Okay. So if you send me the date of that Furman, the date and the place, I'll find that Furman in English and Urdu. Because I do not, I speak Gujarati, but I don't read Gujarati. So I will read that Furman above and under, and I will come back to you and I will explain that line to you. Okay? okay, so let's come to your second question about alam al ast the event of al where Allah is asking, am I not your Rabb? When yeah. and where Allah asks that? That would be the question. When does Allah ask that question? Want to everyone to think. And the question is, when do we hear our Rub asking us, am I not your Rub? When that happens? Where does this even happen? Because we don't know when this even happens, the event of our lust takes place. Now what I'm about to tell you, is the secret of the batin, of the spiritual life. The alam e alas, the event of asking, am I not your rub? That happens at the highest level of spiritualism. When a momin is salik, momin is salik? When a momin walks on a true path, on this journey and when he crosses all the journey of the spiritual life because that is the spiritual life the journey of the soul when he crosses the one two three four five six seven eight nine when he gets to the number eight number eight at that point he is asked the soul, your soul, is asked, Am I not your Rabb? And who's asking that question? Is Imam is asking your question. Today, we believe Imam is our Rabb. But at one level, have you seen Imam's Noor with your eyes? Have you become one with Imam's Noor? No, we only know Imam as a Rabb because my parents told me, some Alwais told me, Aziz sir told me. But the event that you are talking about is at the eighth level. Eight. Not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eighth level of a spiritual journey. At that point, this question is asked that am I not Europe? Because at that point you are able to see the Noor and the Imam. Now at the which level of certainty? At the certainty of truth. Remember three level of certainty? Not at the first, not at the second, but the third level of certainty. Imam asks you your soul. Am I not your Rabb? Because now you can see him, now you are one with him. What is the answer? Indeed, you are my Rabb. Anything before then is just at the level of knowledge. That's it. There is no more, no less. We are not there yet. When we get to their eight number, this event will take place with you and everyone who will get to that level. So this question, I don't know how it came to your mind, 
But this question is of the batin, of the batin, of the batin, of the batin. Yeah, I know, because Mola has said in his karma, and again, I will say in Gujarat because I have been listening to the CD that Samanti has given it to me. And I listen it to it almost every day. And Mala says, I have been listening Okay, because Mishnah, you were saying in the wise that, you know, Alam e Arwa, Alam e Arwa me, jab Khuda ne ruho se, ye sabaad kuchha, aur us wak chaar pism ki ruhe hui, ye ek ne usi wak ubul kiya. So, you know, like, there are, like, he is talking about four categories of the soul. So, this is what it came from. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Farzana? Yali Madad, Mishnah Isad. Yali Madad. I will say in Urdu, you have to ask me a question. I have to ask you a question. I have to ask you a question. The Mullah has given the second verse on page 46 of the Mullah. That if you have the love of the soul and the love of the soul, you have the love of the soul. आपकी रूह अकल और इश्क के जरिए वो पाक हो सकती है अगर इश्क अगर आपके रूह पाक इश्क पाक इश्क रूहानी इश्क बराबर हो तो रूह ईमान के साथ एक हो जाता है ये रूहानी उसमें है रोशनी में पेज नंबर 46 पे तो मुझे भी ये पूछना था कि एक तो ये पूछना था कि आपकी हमारी रूह मतलब इश्क के जरिए मौला ने हमेशा बोला कि हर चीज की बुनियाद पहले इश्क है इश्क बराबर हो तो ईमान रूह के साथ एक हो जाता है तो इश्क की कैसे पैदा हो जबकि पीरों ने बोला है कि इश्क हाड़ी में ना बेच दे ना हाथे ना बेच जाए ना हाड़ी में नहीं पैदा होता है और दूसरा ये कि मौला ने बोला है कि हम पीर शम्स भी सदर दिन मौला ने रूमी जैसे पाल सकते हैं उनसे भी ऊपर जा सकते हैं मगर हमें सब पता है आप में हिम्मत नहीं है तो ये हिम्मत और ये इश्क हम कहाँ से मतलब कैसे पैदा करें हम जो मौला के परमाण पे अमल करने की कोशिश तो करते हैं पर ये दो चीजें हम और किस तरह से आ सकती हैं कि हम अपनी रूह को पहचान सके हमारी रूह है कि हम मौला मुझे ख्याल करो रूह क्या है कहाँ से आए तो कैसे देख सकते हैं हाँ इसकी फर्स्ट इनिशियल सबसे पहले ईमान � जब हमको यकीन है कि मौला ने फरमाया कि हम उस तक पहुंच सकते हैं तो बात खत्म हो गई हमको यकीन होना चाहिए जब यकीन होता है तो हम कोशिश करते हैं ठीक है नाउ कम बैक टू योर सेकंड क्वेश्चन द लव फॉर द इमाम एंड आई थिंक आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दिस इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशन यू कैन नॉट लव सम वन अंटिल यू नो द पर्सन how can you love the Imam if you don't even recognize the Imam? आप बोलेंगे मैं तो Imam को जानती हूँ, जानना अलग है, पहचानना अलग है। Imam को पूरी दुनिया जानती है, वो गोरे हैं, काले हैं, जो भी है सब को पता है कि ये शाकरीम जो है, वो इस्माइली तरीके का Imam है। Everybody knows that. जानना is different, पहचानना is different. Knowing the Imam is different than recognizing the Imam. That's what Imam said. Remember in Golden Jubilee? I wish my Jamaat will recognize me. Mujhe meri Jamaat pechaan hai. And you cannot recognize the Imam until you have the true knowledge of our Tariqa. I mean, I'll give you an example. I'm not going to answer this today. But for the food, for the thought. आप बोलते हैं कि मैं इमाम को जानती हूँ, and I know everyone on this line will say that. Not even single person will tell me that they don't know imam. Okay, आप इमाम को जानते हैं? चलो मेरा मेरा एक सवाल है आज. और जिसको भी जवाब देना हो दे सकता है अभी या बाद में. इमाम इमाम कैसा बनता है? How does imam becomes imam? Tell me. If you know the Imam, tell me. That's a challenge for everyone's intellect on this line today. How does Imam Imam becomes Imam? आप समझ गए कि कितना गहरा इल्म होना चाहिए Imam को पहचानने के लिए, recognize करने के लिए. 
जी नेक्स्ट याली मदद याली मदद um i just had a follow up question to the one that was posed on bayat and um the bayat that we give when we are um uh, in the wall so i just wondered how that was related to the answer that you provided the bayat we give when we are we are born and go with our mother that's what you talking about no when we are in the womb oh when we are in the uh, womb yes okay so this actually happens before we get into the womb the the original initial bhaya that happens before before we are conceived not in our womb okay so initially when we are living the world of particles at that point we promise we give a bhaya to imam and remember the bhaya is two way bhaya we say mola baba we going to do this this and this and mola baba promise in return if you do this this and this then i will do this this and this for you that is that happens at the level of particle at the alam e arwa the universe of the soul at that place ji So how does that fit into that concept that we've heard of it of mata girbhavas and the uh, and that the soul does bhaya at that point because it, the bhaya is a continuation process at the every level can you imagine a child born in hindu household would you be able to say that would you just say to me as an ismaili no they are not giving bhaiya in their womb no because their mother is not even ismaili why would they give a bhaiya right mm uh-huh. you see that so logically when we leave the universal particle universal soul at that time we are promising something to imam and that promise is like a bhaiya between the soul and the imam at that time then once we are conceived and once we are born then bhaiya is compulsory if you want your child to be smiley so we do the second bhaiya but at this time without the rationality without the conscience because remember we are not conscious at that time we have no rational soul so this bhaiya is taken by our parents on our behalf and you consciously take the bhaiya if you are conscious and understand when you enter the jamaat khana as an adult because the contract only can be between an adult and the imam with the rational soul with the conscience with the understanding so when you say has in the there is your renewal of your bhaiya and then the third time and many time after that that every single time we are in the darbar of the imam we renew our bhaiya again so you see how many time we are taking bhaiya how many time consciously and how many time unconsciously all right ji thank you you welcome thank you hello yali madad mola ali madad can you hear me yes So I had a question about the soul stages because sometimes I've heard there are eight, sometimes I've heard of uh, like there are seven, and sometimes I've heard that there are ten. So I was a bit confused about that. And then there's like uh, like Alim Alimay Arfat. We talked about that, and also like I think it's called Alimay Barzak. After uh, the souls die, they go to this Alimay Barzak, you know, and then they wait, and then it's been said. Um, I think in Quran Sharif that. Um, your god will raise you up and ask you questions again mm-hmm. so can you explain about that so what is your question i didn't understand the question a statement i understood you made a statement what is your so question i i was I, i was asking about the stages of soul because like um, i've heard there are seven stages but sometimes i've also read, read there are 10 stages of soul okay okay the attribution the kind of 
progress of our soul before we are born are in the stages and we counted the particles the mineral the vegetative the animal the rational human and then we talked about the ruhe natika the speaking soul and we talk about additional soul the holy spirit all right so we are still talking about those stages as we are born and as we are raised what you talking about is the spiritual level of our soul so when we have to be careful when we asking question there are 12 not 5 not 7 not 12 level of spiritual progression 12 level of spiritual enhancement 12 level our dais and our peer have given us three different concept one have said five levels of soul one has said seven level of soul and one has said 12 level of souls you will say if sirasal musik is same our dais and peers are same why would they give us three different levels that would be a valid question the reason i say 12 today because the level of the knowledge we are receiving today has to start from the bottom and from the bottom there are 12 stages when one of our dai or peer talks about seven they are starting from the dai and upward meaning they are giving talim the knowledge to those soul who have cross being a dai then they will say how many seven and when our dais and peers are talking about five we are talking about the knowledge above the level of peer and then there are only five levels of progression of our soul only five even to understand all what i just said it will require minimum minimum of three sessions the progression of soul okay because we are talking about the spiritual journey and this has very delicate very very delicate steps so we can understand the journey of the soul step by step by step you know what would be a great question ask yourself am i standing at the level 1 2 3 or 4 or 5 because dai is at the level of 5 if imam has given us the level of 5 dai am i qualified am i truly standing or am i potentially with the farman of the imam or dai if your answer is potentially then you should actualize it you should try to cross the levels level 1 2 3 and 4 so you could be at level number 5 good question thank you for asking can you me that mr sir aapka ye the question you asked right what are the prerequisites to be imam to be imam so i think jahan tak mujhe khayal hai according to the teachings of imam mohammad baqir there are four things uh, have to be there to be imam jahan tak mera khayal hai nas honi chahiye ilm hona chahiye noor hona chahiye aur isma hona chahiye i think noor aur ilm mil jata hai to imam becomes the masoom yani pure ye panch cheez mil kar i think uh, imam ke prerequisites hai to be Mom, if I'm wrong, I don't know, but very, very, very good. You, you have nailed it down to the point. Just sequence, जो sequence है ना, उसको हम discuss करेंगे और फिर आप देखेंगे exactly what you said. Just in a correct sequence, we will be able to make logic. and we will be able to understand and make our children understand very good bravo 
so proud of you thank you thank you for doing this it it makes me feel good that there are others who are paying attention i'm so proud of you thank you okay uh as is that we've got a request if you could possibly uh repeat that in english what i just said to him yes <laughs> yes first as a bravo mean is really good <laughs> okay so my friend was saying on the line that imam has some knowledge he has the nur he has the progeny and when all of this are together in imam he become the masoom the innocent and that's how he becomes the imam so he had covered everything that needed to be covered only thing that was missing was the sequence in the way it happens because remember a smiley tarika one thing in our tarika there is no hocus pocus everything is logical step by step and everything has to have a complete answer and understanding agar aapko koi aadha hocus pocus no 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 that's not ismali tarika that is not our knowledge the true knowledge of imam is complete and this gentleman i'm so proud of him what was his name karim or something hey inayat 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 i'm so proud uh, of you lakhani inayat lakhani lakhani to florida ka hai ji you should be proud of him because Very he proud. because he is from your florida <laughs> so i wish he was in dallas i i can sit with him and i can you know maybe learn something from him inshallah ji shukran alhamdulillah yeah 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 ji uh hilarious khyal khyal is my friend and he's a very good scholar very very humble and i always love to answer him yeah acha khyal you you have you have one about us <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ahmed Azhar, sir, thank you so much. Um quick question just relating back to uh well, it's actually two questions relating to two of the other previous questions about the last of Arabicum. I just want to make sure I understood correctly that you had said you had said that the uh, event of last of Arabicum did not occur prior to us coming to this earth because that is the typical understanding Islamic understanding that this question of am I not your lord will be asked before coming whereas i believe you had said that this happens at the higher level of spirituality and related related i think to that question is the other other question about bayad about if it, if it occurs before we come in before one comes to the womb and it occurs at the level of universal soul how does that soul which is still in the form of particle how can they answer in a rational way even if we understand that allah can make all things speak and i'm a little bit confused of how can that soul make a bayat at that level without rash without the rational soul yes so if you remember in one of the session we were talking about how we wish and how we wanted to to come down to the earth to be with the imam and i'm just talking my smile here okay at this point if we had wished we must be conscious right how can we have a wish if we were not even conscious so at the level of the soul there are different stages of souls and those souls which souls are conscious they do a bayya and they have a promise a bond with the imam even before imam decides to send him to the earth even th- before they are born even before they are conceive but when we are talking about the conceivement and that progress then we must understand the particles we must understand all the other attributions and the level of this one soul we call i or my soul so do you understand the difference between these two 
Because if we say we were not conscious, then what we are saying, Allah pushed us towards this world and we had no choice. We had no say-so. If there is no say-so, you know what? I don't have to do anything. I did not ask to be, you know, a human or ask to be come down. I can do whatever sin I want and Allah cannot hold me to any answer because I did not wish to come over here. He pushed me by force. So all the hujjat, responsibility, the burden is on him. Remember we khoja? We are very clever. If Allah gives us excuse, we will not do anything. <laughs> we will not do anything. So what Allah does? He takes a promise from us before we even come down. So we have no excuse. Especially as Koja, we are very, very clever. And we have all kind of excuse. We can write a book on excuse for all the souls. But Imam is more Hoshiar than us. He took our promise first. G. Okay, Farida, go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Aziz, I was missing a little bit of a mistake. I was missing a little bit of a mistake. I was progression <laughs> वो हमारी रूह जो इस दुनिया में आई ना उसके एट्रिब्यूशन की बात हो रही है यहां पर कि हमारे रूह के बड़े-बड़े चार एट्रिब्यूशन है पर अदर देन दोस फोर देयर आर माइनर एट्रिब्यूशन फॉर एग्जांपल पार्टिकल फॉर एग्जांपल मिनरल फॉर एग्जांपल वेजिटेटिव फॉर एग्जांपल एनिमल फॉर एग्जांपल रूह एंड नातिका द स्पीकिंग सोल फॉर एग्जांपल रैशनल सोल फॉर एग्जांपल ह्यूमन सोल and then we have additional soul, the Holy Spirit, the soul of the Imam. Okay. So, this ritual you are saying, what is Rational soul? Rational soul, human soul. Human soul. Okay. Yeah, in San Ki Ruko, rational soul, Kahe, Hamare Piron, because in San Ki Pat, a Kaloti, which is rational as Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Rosmina, you are the last one. Shukar Alhamdulillah. Thank you, everybody. Yes. And thank you, both of you, for giving this Garib and Nachi's opportunity to come online thank and you. talk to everybody. Thank you so much. May Mola bless all of you. Thank you. Uh, uh, Yali Madad. Okay, Bye, Thank you. Amen. Amen. And thank you for being here, Aziz Bhatt. Thank you for your time. Again, sharing this uh, knowledge with us. I think we all learned so much more again today. And uh, I would like to ask that Mola accept your seva. Amen. And that Mola give you plenty of opportunities to Ameen. fulfill seva in the future. Amen. May he, you and your family and all beings continue Amen. to enjoy abundant blessings of Mullah's infinite, Amen. eternal, and ever-loving Noor. Amin, Amin, Amin. May we all have the blessing of being able to understand all of this new knowledge Amen. and to practice it in a way that would make our Mullah happy and pleased with us. Amin, Amin. And may Mullah keep us all steadfast in our Dasan and Sukri. Amin. And may he continue to bless us with inspiration and ability to progress in our Ibadah. Amin, Amin. Amin. Mullah, we ask that we may know you. We ask that we may be you. Amen. Mola, please accept our sins and please humble us kindly. Amen. 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 
Bhaj Namazish, thank you for beautiful prayers. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yali Madad. And remember, we have uh, one session tomorrow morning on Dua Meaning. Yes, I'll be sending the information out tonight. Thank you. Yali Madad. Malali Madad. Malali Madad, good night. Yali Madad. Okay, all the